and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing Twitter. This was the Stock Swish show play of the day today. It was a great trade. The dream target was 42 and actually it broke 41. Low of the day was 40.83. So we did this initially and got stopped. We did what's called a retake. I'll go over it. Then we did an ad to get heavier in the position. When we had the confirmation it was going to go and got out in the morning and it was the right thing to do. Even though I knew with the market today, which you had the market on your side today, this would probably go to 42, but I couldn't be sure what time. And I think it's best to make sure that you get out with profits, and especially since we did take the initial stop in this. This was the best day trade today, and I had it right, and I didn't give up on it, and actually I knew it last night. So we shorted this here. You could have got out. For a minute I was like, oh, I missed my exit. Anyways, we got stopped. We went right back into it, then we added, then we got the drop. And again, anywhere in here, snug as a bug, or anywhere in here, snug as another bug, would have been a great exit. Even though, if you held this all day, you could have gotten this all the way down to here. It flatlined, it was weak, it just ran out of steam, but it really did keep going lower. And again, it had the market's help. So today was a day where, you know, if you knew what you were doing today, you could have just made bank. And that's what we did. And I've just been on point reading the market and picking the right things. The fact this needed a retake wasn't a big deal. I, I knew it was going to go. I mean, I said it right in the room. This is going to go. And to have something go to the dream target, it's really nice to get some follow through here. Uh, you know, we've been getting follow through and uh, I think it's a good sign for earnings season. It is still earnings season. There's hundreds and hundreds of stocks still yet to report. Twitter was an earnings. Twitter gapped down last night into this morning. And again, for those of you that don't know what I do, I look at stocks that are gapping and I rate them in the pre-market to determine if they're long or short. You could have rated this last night. It actually gapped last night, but it closed at 52.43 and opened at 44. 453. So it pushed back a little bit, dropped. People tried to buy it on the 50 pair moving average. We were short and we, we held it through. I mean, it was just a really nice move. So congrats today for everyone in the room. I'm not sure if anyone got this through the break of 41 or not, or even, uh, you know, to 40 and change, but amazing move in Twitter. And we'll see where we go next week. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, I'm running an election special through election day on Tuesday. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Next class is November 7th and 8th. Have a good night, everyone.